Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mike Cameron. Going into the last day of 2018, we're entertaining the chance for rain. Out there now, not happening yet. Here's our eye cam over Hartford. It's nice and quiet. Um, and it has been over Waterbury as well. This is an earlier view where we had some of those patchy clouds around. Um, and that kind of view is what we're going to see as we go in towards uh, tomorrow too, uh, especially in the afternoon. I think we'll start to notice the clouds increase. Temperatures out there right now are sitting in the lower 30s. Uh, they'll fall back into the 20s tonight. And when they do, we'll have some of those clouds crossing through the sky. Sometimes we'll see some starlit sky as well. Overall, though, it stays dry. We'll just have a light breeze overnight. Then tomorrow, it starts off perhaps with some partly cloudy skies early, uh, but then the clouds will really fill in. Uh, and then after 4 or 5 p.m., that's when the rain starts to come in. Temperatures will range uh, between 39 in the Northwest Hills to in most places in the low 40s for tomorrow. Uh, there are some of those patchy clouds still rolling through our skies now, and they will at times during the rest of the overnight hours. Uh, but the big bulk of clouds and the rain, that's still well to the south through the lower Mississippi Valley. Now that won't be in here till, as I said, the second half of tomorrow, especially after 4 p.m. So let's time it out with our future cast. It is showing you that we'll have variably cloudy skies tonight. Sometimes we'll see some of that starlit sky. Sometimes it will be uh, cloudy. And then when we get into the morning hours tomorrow, here's about 7 a.m. Uh, on your Monday, it will be partly cloudy for the first half of the day. There's 9 o'clock. There's noon. Going into the afternoon, the clouds fill in. Here's about 3 o'clock. It's still rain free. But there comes the rain anytime after 4 o'clock. And as we get it towards 8, 9 o'clock, this is the way it's going to look. Steady rain, sometimes heavy rain. And, and crossing past midnight, too. At midnight, it looks like as 2019 starts, it will be wet. You can see how it's just continuous rain, sometimes heavy rain, all the way into the wee hours of the morning on Tuesday. Then the steadiest of the rain will be ending in the wee hours past 2 or 3 a.m. And you still, though, see during the morning hours on Tuesday scattered showers until we hit about 8 o'clock. Once 8 a.m. on New Year's Day happens, that's when a lot of the clouds should go away and we should start to see some clearing uh, through noon and into the afternoon. That's what tends to happen uh, is for us to see more and more sunshine. The other thing about it is as the storm leaves, there's still going to be this pocket of mild air in here, and that will be the way the day will start on Tuesday. So New Year's Day starts off with warm weather with readings in the 50s to maybe even near 60. But then those temperatures will be falling during the afternoon as the wind switches into the northwest. In terms of rainfall from the storm, we're expecting to see about an inch of rain uh, on average across the state right now. And that would add to a very wet year. Um, Hartford ranks right now as seeing, it, it, at least for 2018 in Hartford, we have a rank of the fifth wettest. If we get that next inch of rain, that would bump us into fourth place. Uh, in Bridgeport, I think we're going to remain at second place uh, for wettest years. Um, because the next and best is actually uh, 73 inches. And so far this year, we've collected 64 and a half. So I think we've got a far ways to go in the course of one day to get up there, and we just won't do it. In your early morning seven day forecast, though, it is going to be wet no matter how you shake it as we go in towards later tomorrow, tomorrow night, and into Tuesday morning. Um, anytime after 4 p.m. is when we see the rain coming in. Then we'll have periods of rain Monday night past midnight and the new year. Um, and then that cuts out early on Tuesday. I should mention, too, at the very onset of that rain Monday during the afternoon, a few models say eh, there might be enough cold air drained into some of the northern valleys, especially in the Litchfield Hills. There might be a little bit of an icy mix, though I think most of that's reserved for areas of the Berkshires and points north. Then as we look towards uh, later Tuesday, after we see that warm start to the day and temperatures in the 50s, temperatures will fall through the 40s during the afternoon. And then Wednesday and Thursday right now appear dry but cold.